It's been a while since I've done a uh, TV related video. Why does that picture look so weird? It's blue on the screen. It's definitely black and white. God, is that uh, George Clooney? I think so. This is a, a Predicta Princess. Contrast. Sounds really good. This line you're seeing on the, the camera is not really there. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, I just want to turn on the Predicta, run it a little bit. And while we're sitting here, the uh, tractor. Big zenith. Let me put the zenith in on that. I just love it. These videos are totally unedited. There it goes. All right, so we got the uh, the black and white TV. It's really, I mean, these uh these Felcos have a really nice picture with a decent tube. The inner lacing is very tight here. There's no uh, there's no uh, line pairing going on or anything like that. It's a very handsome set. I really like it a lot. Here's the Zenith. Oh, let's get it going here. I don't know what this is all about. Why is it doing that? Oh, there it goes. Vertical. It's like the Sounds like the uh, volume control is a little messed up. We worked, we slaved, we sweated, and guess what? We made it to the semifinals. Semifinals? This shouldn't be here. This particular broadcasting is supposed to be the full size. I suspect that what's going to happen here is this TV, I haven't turned this TV on in probably six months. And I'm not forgetting that the uh, it actually fills out after it warms up. There's a nice old zenith. And should we turn on the RCA? Let me do that. Let's turn on yield RCA. I'm going to unplug the. Uh, I'm going to unplug the. Bilco. I'm going to plug in the RCA. Let's turn on this guy. Oh, it's already turned on. Good. You see, there's the little thing that lights up on the side of the door. Got a little built in light. I haven't turned this one on in a while either. I don't know what channel I have it on. I assume I have it on the right channel. And I don't even know if the antenna's hooked up. So let's see. Oh, here we go. It's got a little bit of a greenish tinge. I don't know if that's just because the uh, CRT has to warm up. Let's give it a minute. It's got a really great sound. Let me uh, play around with it a little bit here. And let's turn up the, uh, there we go. Turn the color up a little bit. Let's turn the brightness. There we go. See how well it tracks. Let's play with the contrast a little bit. There you go. That's a pretty nice picture now. That's a CTC... That's a CTC 9. Like I said, the reason I like this channel is it fills out the whole screen. I think this is like retro TV or antenna TV or something like that. I don't know how they get away with transmitting in the old 4x3 format. 
but they do. It is actually pretty nice. Let's turn. There you go. Play with the car a little bit more. I don't know. I'm just playing with it now. Oops, that's a sound. Sorry. Is that the color? That's a tint. There you go. Here's the color. Anyway, there, there you have it. Just a quick demo of some of the old TVs. Oh, I got one more over there. Let's go get this one more over here. I don't know if this one's even hooked up or not. Let's see if I can tell. I, I think I heard it come on. Now this is the old RCA CTC um, 7. So I think this is like the first of the more modern circuitry color TVs. I think the CTC 5 was still, you know, very early. But I think by the time of the 7, the basic board layouts for the color demodulation uh, was pretty much set up and was basically used with minor tweaks through the rest of the tube era. Uh, I don't know if this is going to come on or not. But I remember right, this kind of has a delayed start where it'll just kind of go pop and come on. There's a, uh, a warm-up period in it. Of course, I could be wrong. I don't know if this thing has a light on the side. Let me see if this has the light on the side. Oh, yeah. yeah it's definitely on. I mean, here it comes. Oh, man. That's pretty ugly. Let's do some work here. Something doesn't look right. Oh man, what have I done to this thing? That's tint. There's color. Where's the, uh, where's the brightness? It's not warming us out. There you go. Getting there. Uh, let me get that. Work on contrast a little bit. That's contrast backing off. Right about there, I guess. Oops. Turn the brightness down a little bit. There you go. So that's a CTC7. I think that's a little bit, uh, tense a little bit off. I gotta get the, uh, Take your free COVID-19 online risk assessment today. Let's get the, uh, well, since I get up, get some base, flesh tones. Come on. Attention. Okay. All women who have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. There you go. In July 2018, Johnson & Johnson was ordered by... I think that's supposed to be yellow. So, let's see how this comes out. Come on, give me a face. Sorry for the boring content, folks. I can't control that very well. Here we go. Uh, tint. That's color. Hold on. Is this tint? No, oh, that's not tint. This must be tint here. Yeah, it's green. Or oh well. There you go. Here's what it is. Again, that's an RCA CTC7 Deluxe chassis. I can't remember what the difference is between the Deluxe chassis and the regular one. No doubt it's got something to do with the uh, color demodulation, if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed a little flashback to the old TVs. i got to admit, as much as I like color TV, I think that Predicto is still my favorite. Thanks for watching.